this. Day 14 in this fabulous adventure. Or was it day 40? They all blend together now. I'm a wreck. Exhausted, sick, out of money, and out of time. Naturally, I had no choice but to leave town. The fear and loathing had begun to set in. In my humble opinion, the best way to get to the, I think it's pronounced Suwanavu Airport, is to take the BTS Airport Rail Link. It's clean, air conditioned, comfortable, and super cheap. Do not stop at this kiosk and buy a ticket. Look for the sign that says to airport rail link. Do some more walking. Do not wait in that ticket line either. Instead, head this way and keep following the signs that say airport rail link. And if you're hungry, there's a McDonald's. Ah, here we are. We're headed in the right direction. A little more walking, a little more escalatoring. Do not go to these ticket kiosk machines either. Instead, look for this ticket office where you will actually be purchasing a token, not a ticket. Kind of random. At these gates, you'll tap your token to enter. And then, if you have luggage, which you probably do heading to the airport, elevator. look for the elevator to make life easier. Once up on the platform, get on your train, sit back and enjoy the beautiful views from the comfort of this air-conditioned modern marvel. Passengers will connect to SRT the very end of your train journey, the ride terminates underground, underneath the airport, which makes things very convenient because you basically get out of the train, go up these escalators, and you're here. At these gates, you will deposit your token to go through. And here you are. Welcome to the airport. And you'll do a little more walking, a few more escalators. And at some point, you will reach the 
football field sized ticket counter area. If you have a little time before your flight, I recommend walking around and checking this place out. It's amazing. The architecture here is stunning. Plenty of entertaining people watching. They even have these beautiful gardens outside where you can relax, take a stroll, and watch the airplanes taking off overhead. Not a bad way to stretch your feet before the 20-hour flight back home. Okay, I guess I will partake in the luggage wrapping service. And if you purchase anything expensive, there's the VAT refund line for tourists. This is part one before security. Okay, I've made it through security. I could not take any video in there. They would not allow cameras, but you're probably familiar with that circus. Once you're in this area, it's a duty-free paradise. All of the duty-free liquor and cigarettes and electronics and chocolates that you could ever want. And here is the second part of the VAT refund line. Make sure you have plenty of time before your flight is ready to take off because they give you your refund in local currency. So you either have to wait in another line and exchange it or spend it in one of the many shops on the way to your gate. This is one of the most beautiful airports I've been in. The architecture here is stunning. And that looks like our airplane. I like these high-tech looking metal floors. And more walking, and more waiting in line. This is our cozy little plane for the first leg of the journey. Oh, and apparently you can't photograph the stewardesses. I got reprimanded for that. Everywhere I travel, tiny life, single serving pad thai, individually wrapped bun, single serving fruit cup, tiny pad of butter. The people I meet on each flight, they're single serving friends. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. Okay, we've landed in China, and now it's the obligatory mad rush where everybody gets up at the same time and grabs their luggage at the same time. And it's uh, on to the terminal and on to another line for the next leg of my journey. And another line waiting to board the plane. This plane is a lot larger, the double decker. And these are my accommodations for the next 18 hours or so. In case you're wondering, no, that baby did not stop crying for the entire flight. And through the wonders of movie magic, I've condensed an 18-hour flight down to just a few minutes. We're here, we've landed in America. This is a side of LAX that I have never seen before in my life. I've picked up plenty of people at the International Terminal, but I've never arrived here myself. It's a very busy terminal. 
And as usual, I wasn't able to use my camera anywhere near immigration or security, so you'll just have to imagine what that was like. But now, for the fun part, baggage claim! Am I the only one that gets some weird joy out of watching luggage go down these conveyor belts and revolve around endlessly? Call me crazy. I've always wondered what it's like to be on this side of this walkway. When you turn this corner, seeing all of these people staring down at you, judging your soul. And now I know. But little do they know that they are gonna be on YouTube. It is so good to be back. I've never been happier to see LAX. That fresh LA air. God bless America. From LAX, it was on to the 105, the 405, and... Then onto the Hollywood freeway, straight into frantic oblivion. Safety. Obscurity. Just another freak. And the freak 